It feels good in here. I think that's I the most important thing. Welcome to the World Genius TV Show. Are you are you are you recording? Should I uh should I should I clout chase all the the streamers that are doing skateboarding streams? Yeah. Yeah, probably. Do I gifted hater reacts to Ludwig's Ollie challenge. Maybe uh, that's actually now that now uh, you actually Ludwig, have you're to get... kind of too big of a pussy to skate a baker board. <laughs> Maybe a dark star is more your speed. <laughs> Dude, dark star is cool. It, 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 yeah, it kind of They've is. They've got some cool graphics. Um, Dark yeah. Star went Walmart though. No, they they've been Walmart forever, but they have no team. They now, weren't so they're Walmart really uncool. when I was a kid. They're extra uncool now, but um, they do have they do have the most badass graphics. There's no yeah. question God, that God damn, in that like... department, Walmart is king. <laughs> Walmart or they wanted fucking Dark Star is king. It's such a like an epic thing to have like a castle with like yeah. skull holes and like yeah. all this stuff inside of walmart people have walmart people have has tried to replicate tees. it uh yeah i i didn't see any good ones last time i went holy wait before that i went into target today just while we we're on the big box store subject uh-huh. and i wanted to buy sweatpants yeah okay i just wanted regular sweatpants uh-huh. you know that i could go out to the gym or whatever these and just ones? be comfortable. Yeah, like like that. These aren't regular. Every I swear there are about five variations of sweatpants. They do not sell sweatpants at Target anymore that aren't joggers that don't have the uh, little sleeve the cup on the bottom of the shoe. I don't know why or there's fucking why do people leg. want that? Nobody knows. I own one pair of joggers. I think they were given to me for They're Christmas so by mm-hmm. one of my girlfriend's like aunts or uncles or something like that. And every time I put them on, I just pray nobody sees me. Like They're I'm, I, I'm afraid to walk around my block with them on. Yeah. That's how embarrassing it is. <laughs> there, Target, whatever to happened to just a sweat fucking sweatpants, like man. flannel sweatpants. I know. Pant. I love my gray. I bought sweatpants pajamas. That that yeah. was the the workaround. The only way I could get anything that resembled that was a pair of pajamas. Yeah. And these pajamas were Hanes pajamas, and they're literally just like the boxer. Uh-huh. And it was plaid, but just the same material, just all the way down. <laughs> That's sick. It was That's yeah. nice. I mean, I'm way like more like a lightweight one. Or yeah, cotton. they're pretty lightweight. Cotton. Or yeah. Like, no, it's like the same material silky, as the boxer. Like the, the I wouldn't wow. call it silky, <laughs> but yeah, like same material, wow. pretty much. That's cool. Yeah, but I really yeah, just wanted sweatpants. Are stupid sweatpants are better than I would have even pajamas. You know, you know where you like can get good house. shit is. The t-shirt warehouse in Costa Mesa. They got sweatpants. That's where I got these bad boys. Oh damn, those are nice. Those are uh, those are a classic. Mm -hmm. Everyone, uh, actually, we actually get a lot of comments about these pants. These, where is your pants from? T-shirt warehouse. T-shirt warehouse. These are called. For all you, for all you guys, these are called Pro. (laughs) Wow. They're called you could like for some. I thought they were expensive. No, these are three hundred dollars for them. They have shorts too that are actually badass. Sweat shorts. Those would be That's, nice. They're just yeah. this, but like I'm to a little hear. envious. You Maybe can I'll only go see them if yeah. you've done now. meth once. Oh yeah, Joe's back in town. I'm back in town. Yeah. Joe, we're gonna be potting three times a week. New crib, Santa uh, Ana. Don't expect Shit. that of us. You. Colin's my neighbor, and I'm we're Colin's neighbor. Neighbors. We're neighbors. Neighbors. We're yeah. Uh, we built our gym. We finished it. And a lot of people are like, oh, please film it. Please film it. Yeah. And, uh, the people problem, are saying that? Yeah, yeah. Some guy was like, my girlfriend wants to see you guys build that. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it would she help wanted, you guys build a female walls. audience, they said. Yeah. We, we can Us post... being hot? Is yeah. that? Oh. Yeah. Construction guys. I feel like mostly the guys that watch you construction know YouTube <laughs> are guys. Yeah. The, I'm, I'm ready for, she, I'm ready for um, the Twitch streamers to get into construction so <laughs> I can be like, oh, no, you need to put rebar in there. <laughs> oh, that, oh, you're pouring concrete on grass? What are you doing? <laughs> we, we poured, <laughs> like, I think it ended up being, like, over 1,500 pounds of concrete. Oh, my God. Over last week. I thought this Holy thing was going to be like a two-day project. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I had high I missed the whole thing because I what, went to Arizona. I missed all Well, the all problem of it. is that we pretty much copied... I mean, I pretty much copied what I saw on YouTube. But then turns out all these YouTubers, these DIYers, they're fucking lazy. They, like... They're cutting We'll take corners. a post 
They'll get a post hole digger into grass. They'll dig like, uh, they're like, we dug uh, two feet. We tried to dig two feet holes, but we only managed to get 18 inches deep. But that was Dude, fine. And then they do like a lies. dry, poor concrete. They use like a four by four instead of a four by six. And the whole thing's just a little dinky yeah. piece of shit. You see him do a pull up and the whole thing is rickety, you know? So we went like, we like went into hell basically we we battled Rickety. god did not want us to go as deep as we went he into was, the earth yeah we had you to excavate those, those pull-up bars on youtube were a little rickety and you guys wanted something a, more morty <laughs> yes thank you john um no we really battled Nothing back there yeah uh, right, whatever. <laughs> we pulled out boulders from beneath the earth that nobody should have yeah. ever found um, I was actually thinking about that when I was digging. I was like, what was the last time this rock saw this the light ro- of day? Yeah, this rock was in the ground. Millions for- of years. <laughs> and then we just fucking needed it gone. It was in the way for a post. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, God damn. That thing, it took two weeks to build, but we only did like two full days. We had to grind into concrete. They... He, it was insane. It was a nightmare. I but I was I was there for some of it. Joe <laughs> was there. He dig he dug for about thirty minutes. Yeah, I dug for about thirty minutes. Oh, I was on there two days. Two days I was there. Um, and you guys were working hard. I think Colin shortened his life expectancy and Johnny too. By Breathing a, in all that concrete. Probably a, a yeah, year and a half. I had to go to bed. I had to put myself to bed early on like a Saturday night because I was like I just consumed so much silica i could probably die tonight you just you kind of just feel like it's like in your lungs like <laughs> weighing down your lungs a little bit and silica is concrete by by the way concrete yeah, dust. dry concrete yeah. dust and you can die if you have a, you get silicosis and i googled it i was like i didn't feel good after because <laughs> we, we had to like grind i just breathed in a lot yeah, of concrete we, am we, i okay we cut five holes out of 14 by 14 Cheers, dug, uh cut out the concrete <laughs> shit just, time out time to out. ranch spirit i got this from somewhere else what the fuck dude Basically, we we ground into concrete. We rented a concrete price, a I demo did. saw from Home Depot. <laughs> the blade was ass. It took like fucking three hours to grind through that concrete, and I just had dust in my fucking lungs. I had mud all over myself. It was a total fucking. It was the thing just got off. You on looked the hot though, bro. Yeah, I looked hot, but you looked good. I put I hard posted a photo of Colin because he he really was about that shit, dude. We went to war. We Instructions did. about going. It was to battle. beautiful, dude. I, I almost feel... left the house in a full Carhartt outfit, <laughs> and I I realized I was wearing these pants and I put on a hoodie and it was also a Carhartt hoodie and I was like I can't fucking I can't do this on any circumstance, but I especially can't do it sitting next to Colin. Yeah. After he's breathing in concrete, and I'm like fucking some I, in at, on the apartment, I was like, "Is this shower multi?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we built probably the best <laughs> the best pull up bar that's ever been built. It's Dude, beautiful I'm stoked too. To try it, Ash was uh, my brother's girlfriend who I live with was like worried. She told me today she was like, "I was worried that it was going to be like this big ugly sculpture, yeah. but it's." Like beautiful. It's nice. It it looks pro. I saw the story and I was like, gotta give it to these boys. They really, they really. It it kind of rem- it ha- kind of has like a vibe of like a summer camp mm-hmm. kind of like outdoor adventure park type st- structure. Yeah, you know, it's 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 very earthy tones. It's color of a tree, green yeah. bars, brown wood. Mm-hmm. It's it it's nice. It's very nice. You guys, well, we'll what will we film on it? Uh, we're just gonna get jacked, and you guys are gonna see how jacked we are on camera. <laughs> we'll post stories. How many pull-ups can you do now, Johnny? I do. I do. Can you do two yet? I don't want to talk about this, man. Why not? You fucking. We're talking. Well, this is dude, embarrassing. You know what? It's embarrassing now, but in the future, it's going to be a benchmark. I use a uh, like a a band to pussy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Sorry, because I I can't do that as many as where, like when, where did I you can't get do the like band? a bunch of reps. I or, I ordered you like ordered a band? real resistance bands and yeah. stuff. But I I you do know, I you, do like a bunch of I did I think forty or something. The, forty assisted pull ups. Assisted pull ups. Yeah. Wow. 
Um, Colin, I just did five you? outside just a couple minutes. You raw dog, five? He raw dog. But I think yeah. I could do more. I didn't really push it. I kind of when I was digging. Five's not a bad number for you though. When I was you're digging, uh, I fucking just blistered the shit oh out of my, my hand. Oh my god, it's yeah. a birthmark. I blistered the shit out of my hand, and it was just like an open wound. Let me see it I again. Kept, it's like a cow. Like feel it. Holy shit! It wouldn't dude. heal right here. That's like the kind. That's like a dad hand. injury mm-hmm. when your dad has an injury for a while. <laughs> just in a, a, a wound. Like yeah, a it was wound. interesting because like my hand kept on thing. trying to heal this part of it, and then I would bend my hand and re unheal it, and mm-hmm. then it was like, "Fuck you!" I'm just fucking basically making it this concrete now. Mm. Yeah, so I have like a really hard. Dude, that thing. is a, a zero right hand strokeage injury. Yeah, <laughs> you are not. You're. Have you, have you switch hit one time? Uh no. Really? Uh no. <laughs> yes. Dude, the, He's I don't lying. know. It's just not the same. <laughs> no, it's not. It is not the same. Um, sorry to make you uncomfortable, Colin, but it was. It's sitting right in the middle of your palm. We usually don't. Enter that kind of debaucherous territory. No, we keep really. it a little bit more classy on World Genius, I, uh, but my back problems are like almost immediately fixed. Like the day after I started working out. Which oh is crazy. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. my like yeah. my postures hanging. better. I think hanging well, is really good for back. Oh, if you're you're working out your back a lot yeah. with with pull ups, and I the reason I even started the reason I even started lifting weights. Is because my shoulder would dislocate mm-hmm. and it would be sketchy to like skateboards. So if I like fall wrong, I just was really vulnerable. So if any like you, if you don't get like surgery or whatever, like <laughs> a good thing to do is exercise the muscle around whatever injury yeah. you yeah. have so that it's it's stronger. I'm much less sketchy now than I than I used to be. So yeah, I don't just, feel rickety. I just started yeah, doing a yeah, program today. Nice, huh? Yeah. Nice a new workout solid. program today. Oh, I tell us about it. Don't know what it I can't remember uh ankles, you know, above the knees You're or working something out like your that. Ankles. No, anyways, I spent twenty dollars for this program. <laughs> what? No, it's a white guy selling it. White guy with a forty two inch vert. <laughs> No, but he just teaches you like all the workouts that the uh, pro athletes do. But it strengthens like your knee having strong knees is like the number one most important bro, thing. Bro, let me get that Says workout, the guy bro. selling the knee workout <laughs> program. <laughs> you know, there's an Asian guy on TikTok, t- TikTok actually, who can jump really high. Yeah, because you can train. the you're, You can train like the pros these days. You just got to put Dude, the Dude, send in. me that program, bro. I'll send it to what, you. We what can does do it, it tomorrow. I did it today. What I'll, does it entail? I'll, it's going to rain tomorrow. It entails, well, first, I walked backwards on my treadmill, <laughs> and I used a resist. Well, you're supposed to get a sled and walk backwards with the sled. A sled? Uh, you know, like a weight, weighted sled. Uh, so we got to build one of those. That's our next project. All I know is like a winter sled. It's a sled, and then you pull it or push it. You oh, like push the football weights on thing? It. Yeah, yeah football like thing, the football yeah. guys do. Oh, okay. So you're supposed to walk backwards We can just use each other. We should just get skis instead of a sled. <laughs> One person can stand on the skis, and the other, the other person can push them. Two Skateboards, I don't think, would have enough resistance. And then I did a... No, no, without... Just with no wheels? No wheels, yeah. No, no tree. Skateboard? Blank skateboards. Oh, oh, decks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 Sorry, yeah. yeah deck. <laughs> Sorry, I got. I keep it profesh at all times, bro. You should, I'm just like, a, I just need to know precisely. Sorry, what, Colin? And then I did a calf raises, but they were kind of like an explode. Let me, up. Let me see them. Pull up your, uh, pull up your, your pants no, there. I'm not trying to. Oh my calves! Come on, dude. Let me see your oh, fucking stuff. calves. Uh, Ooh, wow, you got that. a little. De- okay, you got yeah. a little definition there. Uh, that's there. pretty bad angle. Oh, <laughs> this one's a little better. Whoa! Have you guys seen the those guys that like have they have like a little calf tool? Max. Yeah, they they're like calf maxing, and they'll be they have like a little tool to like push the muscles together, and then so their muscle is in this like little like plate. It's like a little. Uh, it's like a little condensed. Calves. I'll. I'll, thing. I'll be it's the first. Really gross I mean, looking. yeah. I was. I was gonna. I'm glad you brought that up because I've always thought that calves are kind of like unsightly. You know, <laughs> when they're over, kind of. It sounds worked. racist. What or, you're saying. What? Whoa. 
Calves can be nice, but they can also just look like somebody like stuck a chicken breast in the back mm-hmm. of your leg. I'm more like, I just want like a nice defined leg. I like mm-hmm. a nice defined leg, but nothing too, nothing too crazy. I just want you know a 42 inch vertical leap. I don't think you even need huge legs to do that. Like, how big are Cristiano Ronaldo's calves? They're probably nice. I'm not trying to work. I'm not trying to make my I'm calves saying, big. I did I'm, the no, no, workout. I'm, I'm just saying he can program. jump really high. That's why I'm bringing it up. Yes, I've heard uh, an Indian guy told me once. No, it was a Persian guy. He said Cristiano Ronaldo can jump higher than LeBron, run faster than Usain Bolt. <laughs> <laughs> he was like giving me it's like the true. whole. Cristiano Ronaldo and he, propaganda. He thing. can jizz the and biggest is, loads in the world. This is why yeah, he was explaining to me how great soccer is, <laughs> oh, and his yeah. whole pitch was based around how great. What Cristiano a waste Ronaldo of time is. convincing people that soccer is cool. It's already the biggest sport in the world. Yeah. Why do you need to steal a basketball I'm, fan or something? Yeah, I like soccer now. Oh, it yeah, worked. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I think playing soccer. Playing with, soccer in Johnny's backyard soccer? is fun as fuck. You got. We got to get our cardio up. Colin's for that, actually dude. not bad. No, not bad no, at I'm all. Pretty good. <laughs> That's good. My, I, mean, I don't have. We like, should get you a special, a custom, like you know how uh, football players get like the Jordans with the cleats. We should get you some Converse with soccer cleats. No, on he the needs. Bottom. He needs work boots. He likes the work oh, boots. Yeah, oh, I've been playing you like in my the boots. steel toe? Are you big, Chris? Are you? Yeah. Are you are you you're, you're toe punting. Yeah, I have I, no control. I drill. I was wearing my work boots because we played right after we were working on the gym. And I, I like heavy, f- heavy work, but footed work, work, work footed, but boot footed a Hi. ball into Ooh, Goog's I'm gonna whiskey directly in into Goog's face. Oh, I you drilled him so hard. What happened? Well, we, ha- the- we were having oh, an insane match. It was, it was uh, like welts. we were playing to 21. Welts? It was me and Johnny's <laughs> seven year old nephew versus Johnny and his brother. <laughs> And oh it was God. a fucking, we were down 17 to 20. We were playing to 21 and we just started the miracle comeback began. Like we scored three <laughs> times in a row. I was just locking it down on defense and then just booting it into the goal from half court. And uh, three times it's in a row. Court, and then Johnny, Johnny and his brother kind of t- t- turned it up because they were like, we're not going to lose to a seven year old in Colin. Like that would be embarrassing. <laughs> So Johnny decides to just hit the ball with all of his might straight no. into a seven-year-old's face. <laughs> and then Goog got knocked out, was on the ground, cried. Oh, it was man. determined that a free kick would, was deserved. <laughs> <laughs> did Goog take it? Yeah, yeah Goog, Goog, Goog took the yeah, free kick. Goog did the gnarliest free kick I've ever seen. He went up to the ball. He did a fake kick. And then he did the actual kick, and he just threaded the needle right between Julian's legs. <laughs> yeah, did Julian let it? Julian let tried it his best to okay. stop it, but the the <laughs> six mile per hour ball was just simply too much for him. And uh, we won. Oh my yeah. god! They took it down. What's the name of his soccer team? Julian's or Googs? <laughs> Go- Googs. Team. Googs has a team. Yeah. Well, me and Julian are the Earthworms. This is um, bad. Oh, and Googs, <laughs> Googs' name is the Evil Trans, but it's it's about Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> so he's a Decepticon. So <laughs> <laughs> he shortened like... Transformers to Evil Trans. <laughs> It's so funny. Ah, oh my I just God. think about like that's like really we all funny, don't dude. say we don't like stop. We haven't put a stop to it. No, I I love it. No, why? no, yeah, yeah, you like it. But what I, I, when I'm we just were imagining that, him remember what Goog say, was talking like, about? Yeah, he's like, I'm the hole inspector. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He's when like, we were digging those <laughs> post holes. How he goes, I'm the hole inspector. Yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's, he's like, like, his like face is in the hole. He's, and and he's like, don't touch that. Let me come look at your hole before you do anything. <laughs> yeah. Classic white guy on a job site. <laughs> it was fucking Hole funny. Inspector. Oh, you, you get the joke, Colin? Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's just kind of funny yes. and you didn't laugh, so I was yeah. confused. <laughs> but it is pretty funny when, when seven-year-olds say accidentally yes, really yeah, yeah, hilarious yeah. shit. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's the he, he like, called himself I should the stop holy this, yeah. but I'm just well, gonna laugh. Yeah, no, no, also, there's no also, reason to stop. Well, it. we thought it was really funny because he shortened trans performers to trans during Christmas time because he had the Transformers <laughs> advent calendar where he got like a mini mini one every day until Christmas, and then on C- Christmas Eve you get like a big big one. It's like a a, yeah. a regular size transformer. So he's like almost. Almost big trans day. <laughs> <laughs> he, he he was calling the the Christmas Eve big trans day. <laughs> we thought it was just so funny, Holy and shit, so he dude. like has been shortening it more. And so so uh, the soccer too team name. Funny. Yeah, evil so trans. Evil trans. trans, evil trans defeated the earthworms. You yeah. you guys won. Uh, whoever's on Gook's team is the evil trans. Yes. <laughs> uh, we won, and then we got smoked in the rematch. But I think that that was because Chase joined our team, and it was just a little clogged field. Dude, Chase has Cameron vibes to the. Oh max. yeah, we, Chase is Cameron. We, we, yeah, they're the same guy. We've determined this. Dude, we should put them in the same room like two betta fish, <laughs> and, and, and watch them fucking like. Okay, you guys, duke it out. For, everybody's been demanding that Chase comes on we, and shows his painting, but yeah. We raining. tried to get him today, but it was raining, so he couldn't paint. It was he raining. Needs, he's spray painting, so he needs to paint outside. But I have the everything's ready. We have all the paint. We have all the. I have. The, I cut a canvas for him. Everything's ready. Next week we'll probably have him on. For those Chase fans out there, the four of you. I they might be his own like guys. I think one of them is, but I know. I know one of them is, but the <laughs> Sounds other like one's kind I of don't advanced. Recognize. You think Chase is able to, you know, assemble some kind of group to, you know? Isn't it crazy if you just get four right people to comment comments? something? Like it you can like really mind fuck somebody. Oh, that. Oh, that's that. Especially brings me to one yeah. of my topics. I, I'll I'll send it to Andrew right now. But let's watch this sponsored ad that I got, and it was just a quick little throwaway comment that I did. On this guy's, uh, my grandfather Bill ad. Samuel Sr. had a vision of a soft, rich, creamy, full bodied yet. Oh no. God, I hate this guy. I'd like to look at those patches, yeah. please. Um, so I'd like to look at the no. Well, first off, he's just like stealing. That's all theft. You oh, know? he's stealing a bunch of art. Well, no, it's it's not. He's probably coming up with the art, but those are all just like <laughs> slogans and stuff. And like I've seen, like probably those patches have been made before all of those. You know, like have a nice day or like my. Well, that's, uh, not, that's not stealing. Hello, it's just like boring. It's that that like phrases yeah. like that are like oh, yeah. public domain. Yeah. It's just yeah. like lame. Yeah. So I went in the comments expecting people to be hating. No one was hating. Everyone was positive. So I, what did I say? I said, uh, dude, that's the worst when you go in the comments and you're expecting things to be one way and they're yeah. another. Nothing's yeah. more isolating. God, so damn. I just said, hate all of these! Exclamation <clears> point. <throat> Uh, expecting just maybe nothing to become no, top comment, no, nothing to happen. But he he replied, no way. Yeah, he just he just said lol, which lol. I just sold sixty two of them today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that was just a little throwaway. I want to see, dude. We here's the problem with our fucking show. All right, this is the problem with our show. This is why we need that big TV. That's <laughs> <laughs> kind of sick, Johnny. I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty is, badass. That's Johnny's vibe. That one's he, terrible. That's why he hates it. You can't even read the orange. The, the crushing, crushing psychological weight of being, of being alive. alive. Holy shit, that dude! That is brutal. Blake, pass me the bong, bro. Dude, I wanted to comment something a lot meaner. Seven hundred likes? That's yeah. kind of a lot. <clears throat> Don't tempt me with a good Whoa, time. Whoa, that's suicide what joke. The that, fuck? that one's wait. Stop scrolling. Go back, dude. That one's so dark. Like that doesn't really fit the vibe. Yeah. 
don't like that show just saying I, I really, really would like to kill myself badly. Yeah. We should send these to his mom. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, what does it say? What do you think about yourself as what you become me? A self portrait. That one's pretty bad. That's so stupid, man. <sighs> don't be a dick. Oh, that's like a rip and dip one. does that, yeah. I think. Uh, with the cat. Yeah, that one's really whack. Fuck you. I mean, this is a <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a that's a downtown Santa Ana vibe. I'm gonna talk shit about you to my mom. Oh my god, that's so whack. That one has the most likes too. Ew. God damn, man. That's I terrible. I hate when people do that too. Go sit on a cactus. Of <laughs> that, okay, that <laughs> one's cool. Pretty good. Some this of them are good. accidental hits. Yeah, this one's actually. Some of them good. are accidental but hits. Also, having a patch is. Is stupid, I think, uh, for the most part. Almost all the time, yeah. It's I'm the anti patch. Uh, <sighs> well, he's also presenting, like, in that first, Go next one. that first ad, he presented it like a patch was like some artisan thing that he forged. Yeah. Like, he's just ordering these from some fucking Kinda. shitty yeah. company, like Sticker Mule, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's branded it like it's. <sighs> But yeah. we have a we have a guy that or I have a guy on my Instagram that like went to high school. Wait, with don't us, scroll past this one. And he does the thing the thing where you like he like AI generates T-shirt graphics and then sells them on fucking uh, yeah. Etsy. And then you don't even need to make the T-shirts before you sell them. You just like basically drop. Yeah, that's ship that's them. the Redbubble tech. Yeah, yeah, it's bullshit. Like uh, yeah. that's what this guy's fucking doing. It's the. I, I'm really, I'm, I'm kind of shocked actually by the success of some of the stuff I see on TikTok with like TikTok shop and shit. Like, oh yeah, people just sell Garbage. like crap. Like, I, I've oh, always, no. you always know that that oh, TikTok wait, actually, is like a, a Chinese app, but until like the TikTok shop thing started kicking off, it was like really, really apparent. Like, people are selling fucking like uh beer bottle shotgun like pokers yeah. and like they're called like krakens and they're like 13.99 and there's a whole like ecosystem that's like a new kind of ad where somebody posts a photo or a video of them like using it and talking about it and then there's like a little fucking thing in the bottom left corner that's like add to your tiktok tiktok shop app today and i'm like dude I, there was a time where I thought I'd never use Amazon, and I have used Amazon many, many times. I, I fucking know there's no way I use TikTok Shop. Hell no. No fucking no. way. It can't I, be. Well, I don't use TikTok. So. Also, how crazy you have to be to plug in your fucking credit debit card. slash credit card into TikTok? Yeah, that's no way, so dude. You're you're asking for your your shit to get robbed. Anyway, hello. I'm trying my best. That's in the uh, the Drizzy font. Hate that. Hate yeah. it, hate it, hate it. Yeah, no, that's a good point you brought up though, Colin, about all of these just being fucking brought in for like he doesn't even make these. He probably just fucking uh like He's orders five hundred. It's of them. theft. It's yeah. theft. Yeah, these are all that. This is just. Oh, I also I hate they all market themselves in this way too. The small business thing, or it's like I'm a small businessman. Can you please? It's like, dude, go yeah. fucking. You're like, not going to some theater. local. You're basically digitally shop. panhandling. Yeah. <laughs> This this is of course he has a pizza one too. I don't know if I've oh talked God. about how much I hate like the the pizza and no any thing. food thing that's like when I have nobody else at least I have chicken nuggets yeah. or whatever. It's like any almost any food joke is terrible. Like when they make dad hats with a fucking half sliced avocado on the front yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah, that's brutal. It's just like oh man, that's like Ludwig core. Yeah, it's it's yeah. oh my H3, God, H3 dude. H3 vibes. I was about to do a segment about how, like, black metal font and shit is, like, so incredibly played out. Yeah. I took a screenshot of Ludwig wearing a black metal font t-shirt. Because there's people in skateboarding, like, everybody's making, like, a camo hat with black metal font yeah. on it. And I'm like, dude, this is so fucking pathetic. And I'm like, if we're at the point now where, like, trending or, like, actual you know, items that are being purchased by skateboarders and, like, reputable skateboarding brands are, are making shit that is identical to what fucking Ludwig is wearing. Yeah. Like, come on, dude. Please. I've, I've been... Um, uh, I actually used it on you earlier. But I've been wanting to, to start using differently abled as an insult. Dude, that's fucked up. You can't. Hmm. 
That's all they have left. I know. But I want to see what they come up with next. Uh, <laughs> Once I start using <laughs> differently abled as an mm. insult, they'll have to come up with something new. Special's no good. The special, no. we got rid of that already. Yep. What do you think they would come up with I'm next? trying to think right now. If not differently abled... Ooh. I didn't even know about. I think that, that was the last. You didn't know thing. about differently abled. No, I don't keep D- up. See, with the me. thing about differently abled is what it, are you differently abled? The thing about differently abled <laughs> is that it doesn't even really like. I wouldn't feel any better. I don't think because about it's still called- making <laughs> like the same distinction. Yeah, do you know yeah. what I mean? Oh, yeah. Like no, just. I mean, be- all of that stuff. Is- it's just less specific. Yeah, but it's yeah. getting at the exact same thing. Yeah. Just doesn't it's, sound. It right. all is gonna be. It sounds like double speak. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It sounds like somebody's yeah. like when when somebody's really scared of sounding racist or whatever, and it's like, well, what did they look like? And they're like, well, <laughs> let me was, figure this out. He was not like you or I. <laughs> and it's like just fucking say it. Like you anyway. I don't want to get too much into that, but it is funny when people like are are scared in that way. Like saying differently abled is kind of. Kind of so similar silly. to that. Anyway, you had topics, right, Johnny? Yeah, I got topics. Uh, I went to a uh, a baby shower. For uh, the baby? Well I, well, I went to that one. There's a different baby. The different baby new I went baby. to a baby shower Even for. Even newer than new, new baby. baby. I'm, I'm really good at baby shower games, I found out. What? Yeah, there's a bunch of different games. I, I showed up to this baby shower, like, almost late. And right when they were about to start playing games... I showed up f- within two minutes. I'm playing baby shower games. I win seventy five dollars worth of of prizes. I win all three games. What are the games? Um, there was guessing. Um, I've not been to a baby shower. Or yet. like determ- <laughs> determining <laughs> you're your whether or not like we're we're gonna play them. We're gonna play the games. Okay. Well, you guys are. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You guys are gonna play the games. So get your phones out. Okay. And we're gonna we're gonna play these games. Here you go. You guys are playing too. Peter Peter's here. Baby the bumper way. beer belly. Peter Holy shit. Good <laughs> zoom in. <laughs> okay. Okay, one on top left okay. is definitely a Should fucking we play? Are a we on baby. A, are, are me and Joma on a team? No, no. You guys are all doing it individually. Okay, left. I got this 100% correct. I by think the way. I can do it. Can I try first? No, no, Writing no, no, no. You write them Fuck. down. Okay. Everyone writes them down. So I got, I got. Okay, so I'm writing one for baby and two for beer belly. Uh, yeah. Okay, so we just. And then it goes left to right, and then we'll go to the next row, left okay. to right. Uh, go down. Let me know when you guys are done. I'm ready. With no, no, only the. Sh- wow, with no skin? I'm ready. Wait up, wait up, wait up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Okay, okay. All right. We're going to the last row. Right, that is not a beer belly. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I don't have the fucking answers. Oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. But Christ, I remember. Man. I remember. But let me, hold on. Let me look at that. You don't have the fucking the key, dude? Let's just do the, we'll, we'll just do the next one. What? Oh, come on. Boobs or butts? Come on, just go for your memory. Boobs you said you got a hundred percent. Boobs or baby butts? What the fuck? Ew! <laughs> I feel like I got all those. Dude, these ones look right. like when when you see those videos of people doing like oral dentistry with a little fucking camera that goes down. I the hate throat. this. This should be illegal. <laughs> I don't even. You know what's really fucked up is like I don't even. Ca- I don't even <laughs> care of their boobs or butts. <laughs> I don't give yeah. a shit. How, how did you know? <laughs> I I didn't do this one. How do you know? They, I we only I just found another one that we could all do. Wait, is this is kind of fucked. Is it I a pair of boobs no or a, okay, or a I child's don't want, ass? Okay, we're just gonna do the other thing. Then. I don't want okay. no baby butts on the on my podcast. Here. Yeah, get okay. the fucking okay. baby butts out okay. of here, dude. Okay. I didn't do that one. I just found that one when I was looking for it. Uh, okay, got it. Number one. Okay, okay, okay. Uh. Can we pull the screen oh, yeah, back up? Yeah, fucking show us the asses or whatever. Wait, no, we're not doing that one. Pull it back up. No, I know the number stomachs. one. We need to I see, see the well, stomachs, dude. We need so to see the stomachs. Object. Christ, Johnny, you're bad at this. Okay, right. number one was a uh, pregnancy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Two beer. 
Yeah. Yep. 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 Three. Pregnant. Woo! Yeah. 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 I'm on fire. Beer. Yep. Beer. Yeah. Wait. 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 Which one? Five. Uh, five. Middle. Beer. How are you supposed to know? Ooh, I can tell that's a grandpa. Pregnancy. Is number six? Six. Yeah. Yeah. Pregnancy okay. number seven. Okay. Beer number eight. Fuck. Beer number that's nine. That's my. Yeah, got Pete, the, Whiskey got Pete the same, got them all. I got the same one wrong. I got <laughs> one wrong. I got that second one wrong. I hate that game, wrong. dude. Yeah. I hate that Hey, game. you win some, you did some. I've seen a lot of women with that same belly. It's you know? the belly That's button like the is a dead giveaway for the most part. Because when you're pregnant, the belly button's all fucking yeah. freaked out. It should not be looked at. Uh-uh, no, it's not to be... Inspected. It's something that you should only see if you love somebody. We, so the other two games that I won. <laughs> well, I don't want to interact with the guy who gets the baby butts right. Now. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't. Johnny's we, a, we didn't Johnny, play that one. Johnny, you're a baby butt expert. It was, we only fair. did. We only did the. <laughs> we only did the pregnancy belly <laughs> one. But the other games that I won was a, uh, uh, like contraction simulator. Where they put two what? like little electric th things on you, and they have a machine that like shocks you, like, and it's supposed to feel like contractions. I don't think it's like as extreme. What? I have one of those. You have one? Why? Why? <laughs> Peter has one apparently. Peter's but, here today. I think it's for like, uh, I don't know if it's for pregnancy or like, I think it's for like muscle. Oh stimulation. yeah. But I. I'm sorry, what was the game? So <laughs> there's like six dudes have these things on and the last man standing And the girls wins. go, now you're going to know what they it's crank like. It, they slowly crank it up and whoever lasts the longest. And you lasted the longest? I, yeah. On Did max, you win money? On max set, $25 gift cards. To Home Depot. To we Home needed Depot. it. We needed it for more yeah, concrete. And then I got a shower. Wow. A $25, $25 gift, card gift card buys you about nine minutes of whatever fucking shit tool you're renting from them. That's true. Dude, fucking, you wouldn't believe. We went to Home Depot about 19 times yeah, in this did. last week. It was so annoying. The last game that I won was... Guessing how many M and M's were in like a big, it was like an oversized baby bottle. I guessed it within thirty three. M and well, how many were there? A thousand thirty three. <laughs> you guessed, guessed a thousand. thousand. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. wow! What a crazy. That's guess. kind of a. That's kind of a fucked guess. Nobody, 1, nobody got closer no one, than that. No one. No, I was within thirty. You know what's crazy? I went to uh, Knott's Berry Farm one time with with Colin Schlesinger. And his parents, this is a crazy fucking memory. This is ages ago. And his mom guessed closest the amount of cheese puffs that were in a big cheese puff container. Mm. And then I think we got to keep the cheese puffs. Nice. That's disgusting. But it felt really, it felt really special to be yeah. part of the group that guessed it. <laughs> You know um, what I mean? I won a cakewalk one time when I was a kid. Oh, I won one at Floral Park and like at Jack Fisher Park. Oh, I think that's where I won. Yeah, they one used to do. Yeah, they yeah. used to do hella cakewalk. Yeah, oh, they, you guys they, got they back. Doing... You guys were back to back champs. Maybe. Oh, right. Yeah, we might wow. be raining. Yeah, wow. Down. I won. We the might have Easter... to go back to reclaim I won the... our thrones. I won the Easter egg hunt. I won the, the Easter egg most... hunt. I won the Easter egg hunt. I got the golden <laughs> egg. <laughs> and I dove for that motherfucker. Holy shit! What was in it? Like two dollars, dog. <laughs> That's rich. Pre, pre Biden, pre Biden, dude. Pre Biden, I was fucking pre -Biden, loaded. Two dollars, two dollar bill went a long way. Pre Biden. Um, what's a no, cake walk? Cake I don't know. It's that's like musical chairs. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then you win a cake. Maybe. And oh, ever since then, I think the my number was twenty eight, and I just as a child, you're like you win some, the first thing you win. With a number related, it's Adrian like Peterson, your, your lucky number. So I just claimed twenty eight was my lucky number. Nothing else in my entire life ever has happened yeah. on twenty eight. On twenty eight, that was lucky. I, when Ooh. I was in Vegas, I was jealous of people that are like, "These are my numbers." These are my numbers. Yeah, it's like, like, I, don't, I, I went there and I was don't, like, "Well, dude, how am I supposed are... to play this game? I don't have a number." <laughs> you don't have a number. You don't have numbers that like are appealing when you look at a roulette board. 
I mean, I, I was I, kind I, of starting to figure it out, but by the yeah. time I was getting what the numbers groove of it, like? I already lost all my money. In roulette, I like, well, I, I do like four corners. I like the number seven. Whoa. Seven's a good one. I've hey, always liked the I, number I, seven. I love, Statistically, I love, like, the best the low, number. Is it? No. I, I love like, any sense. <laughs> They're all pretty much the same, Plus, I there's think. more sevens yeah. than any other number. <laughs> yeah. I like, it all evens out, believe it or not. <laughs> I like the low odd numbers. So one, three, five, seven are really nice. Because they're, they're oh, red, wow. too. Those they're are nice. beautiful. Uh, I like... You like uh, odd numbers. I guess I like 11. You like odd they're, numbers. Yeah, I guess I like odd numbers. Yeah, he likes odd numbers. But I like 22... Twenty two birthday. David Eckstein. Uh, I don't like twenty six is a good number. I like the number twenty six. Really, really? Why? I'm twenty six now, oh. and I I just like I like the way twenty six looks. It looks like a nice kind of the way the two goes that way, and the six kind of goes the other mm. way. I think they look nice together. That's I've never thought about twenty six cool. before. Twenty six is a good number. I think. What do you guys think? You like twenty six? Yeah. Be- right, best number to your list. Let's um, look at some miracles, dude. Some miracles? Let's look at some fucking miracles. Okay, let's experience some miracles. Guys. All right, can you guys read us some miracles over there? So I had this idea for top 10 miracles, but then it was kind of for a later day, and then we had nothing planned for today. So I said, Andrew, read us miracles, and we'll rank them out of 10. I have topics, man. We'll I don't do know this. why you thought well, that there wasn't anything today. Not? Well, we're going to be doing this yeah, three well, times a like, week now, so okay. we're going to need all your topics. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I got 11. He's got 11 miracles. 11 all miracles. Right. And they're all gonna don't s- like that number, but continue. A lot of them are from Jesus. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I thought they were supposed to be new. Hallelujah. Yeah, we were looking for modern miracles, right? It, it turns out fine. there's not a lot of modern It doesn't miracles. matter. Okay. Let's hear yeah. them out. All right. Uh, but we got two mod- modern-ish. Uh, what's... What was it? Oh, oh, Peter found the modern ones. Pete. Uh, all right. Let's start with some basics. Uh, Jesus cured someone who was blind. He was blind from birth. And what he did was he mixed spittle with dirt to make a mud mixture, which he places on the man's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> what? That's not my Jesus. Did Jesus just spat and, Why did and he threw dirt in a guy's in eyes? Yeah. And he was cured? I feel like that wasn't why did, yeah, Why did he do something that's like never going to work this, again? This sounds like, like <laughs> the same the same thing when dudes was like, no, 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 like... Jizz is really good for your skin. <laughs> Believe me, Jesus is like, let me spit in your eyes and throw dirt in them and I'll fix you. Uh, top top number one Jesus miracle is when I lost my AirPod and he respawned it. <laughs> that was a top. And, that, yeah, and that's a modern miracle. That's a bro. modern miracle. I swear to God, I checked the same spot a hundred times and then one day, then about two days later, it was just there and I said, thanks, Jesus. All right, what are we rating that miracle though? Um, that one sucks, man. I don't believe it. It sounds I like don't Cab. I don't believe a huge yeah. god Sounds guy. like Cab. I, I, there's not enough detail there either, really. Like, what is it about Jesus's spit that is special? Like, did this dirt come from a particular area? Also, was it like a, one of these legally blind guys? What is another good point? Is good for your eyes. It's just also a salt, so... Mm. I'm giving that like a 2 out of 10. I, a, I don't believe it at all. firm 2 out of 10. Yeah, let's stick with that. Next. All right. Now we're going to another classic. Uh, <laughs> Jesus exorcism. He Whoa. exorcised a boy possessed by a demon. Let's see. The boy is said to have foamed at the mouth, gnashed his teeth, rabies, became rigid, oh. and involuntarily Rip. fallen into both water and fire. So Jesus was kind of like Spider Man. What did back Jesus in the day. do? He'd just go around on little side quests and fix people and save the day. Doesn't specify on Wikipedia. <laughs> it doesn't say what he did. It it gives me four uh, biblical passages. Read them. Uh, Matthew seventeen fourteen through twenty one, <laughs> Mark nine fourteen to twenty nine, and Luke nine thirty seven to forty nine. So, I think he meant read the passages, not the titles of the passages. I I, I put these all in a Google Doc, so I can't uh, actually. Okay. <laughs> Jesus okay. fucking. So Jesus may have cured a guy of a, of demon. a demon possession. I like 
the idea of and I need details, is, dude. I, I need to know what he did. This no, one's a little he, better, though. Me, he, he sounds like he could have been like it's only better a con man. Yeah, yeah, a con is man. Is, is, you know, I'm this, starting to think Jesus may have been a con the man. The only oh, okay. reason this that, is what happened. Okay, is, thank you. And I believe in Jesus. So for the record, a lot of people are like, uh, "You can't do this." Jesus uh, got pissed at them, and he asked the father, uh, "Do you think I can heal the boy?" And he replies, uh, let's see, everything is possible for those who believe. The father wow. then believes and the child's healed. I like that a lot. Okay. So I, Jesus see, was that, a carpenter. That's pretty good. That, uh, this is a, this not is, bad writing. This is a six now for me. So do you guys think Jesus was like a chill coworker? Like if you were doing carpentry no, I, with him? No, I think, I, I think it's known that Jesus would have been annoying. Do you think he was utilizing his miracles to like get the perfect miter cut? I think You're he like, was... You don't even know how to do that. You just used a miracle. Because like, when we he, he had to probably... frame everything perfectly, it required kind of a miracle. Do you think Jesus utilized his miracle powers I do, to I, cut I corners? I think he was fucking carpentry? manipulating people into like doing shit for him and then he was probably like taking credit somehow mm. i think that's probably that's what what was the, the story of job it was that it the one where he has the brothers who hate him no, jo joseph joseph oh, the story joseph. of joseph the story of joseph i feel like there's a big jesus was probably similar it's like i had a dream where you were all worshiped me yeah He's an asshole. Yeah, I think <laughs> I, I think Jesus Maybe. was probably. Dude, you have to be like uh, such an well, egomaniac to, be... to even be in that position to really believe yeah. your own shit. My dad's God. Um, <laughs> do we have more beer, Johnny? Yeah, we do. Can you spawn give us it? another uh, miracle? I the reason wait, 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 okay. Wait, wait. I, I think six. I, I think that one kind of works because it's all like. There's no science to compare it to. V curing blindness sounds like something that you could, like, even you could examine scientifically. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, eh. but science is kind of no, but doesn't I know, but exist. Exorcism, though, there's no science opinion. even for that today. So it's if the whole thing's like kind of mystical, it seems like more, you know, probable that he did it. Do you okay. know what I mean? It's all in like the fucking abstract realm. Yes. So far, I'm ready to hear more Jesus miracles. Give us another gonna, one. We're going to have to wait for Johnny to get back with my beer because I sent him out of the room and that would be rude if we proceeded without him. So, yeah. How's Arizona? Um, It was good. It was good. Um, I mean, it's it should not hurt so myself. so nice this time of year. Dude. You know what you need to get on is I my 42-inch vertical leap program. I can't decide if I like Arizona or not. Have you been to Arizona? Arizona is beautiful, like Sedona and shit. I haven't been. I've seen pictures. I've been to normal <laughs> Arizona. I've been to normal Arizona. What's normal and I thought it was Arizona? nice during the springtime. What is normal Arizona? Like Phoenix. Okay, you went to Phoenix. Area. Right. Tempe. I'm for okay. spring training. Baseball. You went to Tempe for spring training? Yeah. Wow, that's pretty sick. I, I've been to Te I was in Tempe like three days ago. Dropping wow. Ryan. It's not, it's not a bad spot. It's not like, I don't know, man. I, it, it's, there's parts of it that are kind of beautiful to me, but it's like simultaneously like really depressing. Well, there's a reason, reason that most of the people that live in Arizona are like there. You know, they, they, they leave it's cheap. during the summer. And it's shit cheap like to that. live in Arizona. And it's really fucking nice for most of the year. It's a great place to live most of the year. It's kind of like, uh, <laughs> oh no, Johnny forgot to get beer. Oh no. Dude, oh, it's a miracle. Oh man. Oh, thank you. I didn't fucking even start my other beer. There's no way he has any more. <laughs> that would be miraculous. Oh my god. This Somebody should miracle. write this down that this happened <laughs> and, and exaggerate it. And two for me. Wow. How that would we rewrite that if we were in the Bible? <laughs> Like he produced there were, six beers. Tragically, there, were, there was there was no more beer to be had. But Johnny stood there, he closed his eyes, and he believed. <laughs> he imagined his cargo pants pockets being flooded with coarse light, and when he opened them, there they were bulging. Yes, something and, like and that. And also, bulging. we were we bulging. were like something else. We bulging. were on our last breath. 
<laughs> and we were like, like we need water. And then one sip we of this beer he made us cured good. us, and we were healthy as a ox. We'll just segue that. Uh, next miracle is turning water into wine. Ten. Also Jesus. That's, That's a dope. classic. That's Do you have any details on that? Uh, can no. you just look up? Can you just Google how did Jesus turn water to wine? Chemical processes. Is it possible? It can't be done. I've looked into it. It can't be done. Right, we're it, on that's Quora now. A miracle, man. Oh, we're on Quora. <laughs> Scientifically speaking, it's very hard to imagine. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why, dude. Fuck you. Yeah. That's why they I call it a science. miracle, baby. If it was a miracle, it wouldn't be fucking easy to imagine, would it? Quora. All right. D what is that? All it says. Yeah, basically. Uh, well, the story is the host runs out of wine, they fill water, he makes wine. So mm. it's pretty self-explanatory. That's, that's pretty ass. much what John. I just think did. it was at a wedding. Is that, oh. is that right? Oh my wow. god, that's so Imagine good. That is Jesus so sick. He got so laid for that too. I think wa water <laughs> to wine is just like. Just it's such. I mean, I haven't even read the Bible, but I imagine that this is what the Bible does so well. Is it just like, like these passages and these fucking situations are just so transferable to many other situations? Like you make it's the like best throwing a game winning touch. You make you make the best of a mm. best of a bad situation. It's like he turned water to wine. It's just such a fucking classic. You how know? much like, of the Bible is filler? How can you how can you not give water to wine a ten <laughs> as a miracle? Did yeah. I tell you I tried reading the Bible every once in a while? And when you start in Genesis, it starts like pretty sick. It's like God made, you know, the world in seven days. And then who's the first guy? Adam. Uh, Adam and Eve have a bunch of children. Uh -huh. And then it's like two pages of every child they had. <laughs> <laughs> and they're Damn. crazy names if you want like a cool pet name. It, it's insane. Really? It, is yeah. it, but is it like wow. boring shit? Like, because I imagine like there's probably some cool ass passages. But well, one time then... I thought that the Bible would be cool. So I took like a Bible studies class in college <laughs> and I just went only the first day. <laughs> and then I just dropped out of college. <laughs> and got and that into Bible the class was boring. For the rest uh, of it, it'll probably be boring too. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. So that's all right. We give us another. Mar that's a ten, experience. right? Yeah. No oh, water to wine. I think is that's that, hard that's ten. the best booze? miracle that there ever was. Yeah. Booze. All right. Next uh, miracle. Water? All right. Let's take it to a modern one. So Peter found one about Vesna Volich. Volich. Russian? Lovich. Did somebody pronounce her name right? Is that the miracle? <laughs> Thank you. Well, apparently she was on a plane, which exploded. Okay. Uh -huh. And she fell 33,000 feet, and she survived. That's okay. it? Listen, the modern is, ones aren't that good. Is, <laughs> like, is that like a what? confirmable thing, or is that just hearsay? Is it, you know, <laughs> is it like... Because I could make up What's a the miracle? terminal velocity of a person? And is it possible I for mean, someone to it, live? If you fall from thirty three thousand feet, you die. <laughs> I, I think a hundred. Not if you of land in water. <laughs> it's about nice one hundred twenty miles per hour. That's Turn pretty yeah, fast. That's, that's fast. Pretty fast. That's so fast. Pretty fast. <laughs> Dude, what I had a situation like that today sure. where there was like a bug in my bathroom, like a little green bug, uh -huh. and I just like. I couldn't tell what it was. I couldn't tell if it was like a blade of grass or something, and I just like poked it, and then it jumped, and it jumped all the way from like three feet above a sink to where like a cabinet was. It jumped all the way down, and then I didn't see it anymore, and I was just like, I hope it didn't die. Like I hope that its terminal velocity was yeah. so you know low, slow because yeah. of how light it was. Yeah, that I hope for it, sure. it wasn't dead. For sure. And I think if it was small enough where I couldn't even understand what it was, mm. it's probably, probably fine. fine. It's totally probably fine. fine. She was trapped in a by food trolley in the fuselage. She was as it trapped broke away. in a food trolley? Yeah. When the cabin <laughs> depressurized, the passengers and other flight crew were blown out of the aircraft and fell to their deaths. Okay. Investigators believe that the fuselage, which pinned her inside, landed at an angle 
in a heavily wooded and snow covered mountainside. Which okay, so in she was inside this the plane. This sounds like a real, real life miracle. Yeah, yeah, this sounds this real. This is kind of so wow. crazy. So the 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 food cart like hot? trapped her somewhere. Yes, yes. And, okay. Oh wow, that's interesting. Wow. She spent days in a coma, having fractured her skull and suffered a cerebral hemorrhage. So sh did she pour Cerebro. gasoline on herself, or did gasoline just fall <laughs> upon her? I think it kind of sounds like gasoline fell on okay. her. Okay, all right, well, that's that is a mir Mississippi that's, that's miracle. That's that's a fucking right there. that's a that's, a that's a ten out of ten miracle. God needed her to be alive. Depends on how hot she is. Oh, the the explosion was attributed to a briefcase bomb. Whoa! No way, yeah. dude. Supposedly. Russia is fucking crazy. Wow. Holy shit. That's a cool miracle. Is that miracle. better than Thanks, Peter. Water the Wine? Or? Uh, it's no. pretty it's crazy. It's not better, wine. but it's really cool. It's, it's like cool. a nine, it's probably. A nine, yeah. Maybe it's it, a nine. I would say it's cooler if she wasn't in the... Like, being in a coma is kind of lame. Yeah, she like, kind of has like, to walk out. I like, like you to, you know, I'm go fun. hunt in the wilderness. Uh, is that all you got? Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, explainable, you know, which is, like, kind of... Uh, like counter. I think it's cool. It's a it's a, a, it's a miracle. cool miracle. Yeah, it's a cool. I've, I wouldn't dude, even. I've, have you ever been a part of a miracle? I've been a part of a miracle. I did what? too. I'll tell you what happened one time. This <laughs> this is a fucking miracle. <laughs> okay, on the corner of floral. <laughs> uh, you know when you leave Floral Park out of the one way, yeah, and you're like going right towards the Discovery Science the Center. The cube. Yeah. Okay. Out of that, Ian and I were skateboarding coming out of that that thing. Okay, and then. Ian, I, Ian, Ian, we're doing it. Ian did like a trick on the corner or something, and it's right into the main street. It's right into Broadway. And Ian's skateboard goes into the road. Mm -hmm. And a semi truck. Major, interse major intersection. Major intersection. A semi truck comes through. It hits the skateboard. And the skateboard is doing this kind of like spinning, fucking like final destination style like fucking trajectory right at us and i'm like th three feet away from it i go like this and it goes right past my head and ian's b directly behind me and ian's just the board is spinning right towards ian and ian goes like this <laughs> and he catches it no. right in i swear to god i swear to god i swear this is what happened i go like this and ian's right behind me and ian catches the skateboard like that, and it's right in front of his fucking face. That was a miracle. That that wow. is pretty miraculous. Yeah, that was. You can ask him. I it happened. I don't want to, but so that is crazy. Cool I believe you. Do you? What? What was your miracle? What was yours? <laughs> My AirPod, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, do I? No. An AirPod maybe I'm, go I'm, missing I'm and pretty then due. I'm pretty due for a miracle, maybe. Yeah. Oh, that's it could cool. happen at any time. Everyone does everyone get a miracle? Do you guys you ever probably miracle? winning those baby shower games? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. But walking on water. I don't care. <sighs> I just don't care about it unless it's booze related, I've found when out. When Chris Angel did it or when Jesus <laughs> did it? Because it was pretty cool when Chris Angel did it. That's pretty sick that Chris Angel did it. He did like a tribute. Was it Chris a Angel? Jesus tribute? I think it was Chris Angel. Yeah, Chris Angel has done everything Jesus did. Chris Angel was bad and more, and he fucks and, too. And he did it in Sin City. Dude, you know what's fucked up fucks. about like X dot com is X dot com is like another month away from posting like Chris Angel clips and be like, <laughs> this man walked on water. <laughs> Can you believe? Like that's that's how dumb it is on there now. It yeah. sucks. I'm sorry. So that's our recurring segment is talking about fucking X dot com, but. I was I had a lot of free time sitting in a van last week and I would find myself on X and I was like I hate this fucking app. Dude. How many people did you see it's, get killed on X? Yeah, that it doesn't all show I get. me that. I've That's all thousands thousands I get. You keep clicking on it. Then, huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't watch. I don't. It's watch crazy because it's like the most entertaining stuff is the most like radical shit, and then <laughs> if you engage with that like one time, you're just seeing fights and death every day. Mm-hmm. Like, that's not, I, I see I, an that's Indian not good guy. for your psyche, man. I see it's a not. different Indian man get run over by a train every single day. A train? 
Yeah, these is Indian, it the same train? No, Indian guys like they they instead of skateboarding, they like jump in front of trains and then get out of the way at the last second. <laughs> <laughs> like like that's like they're they play chicken. With, they play chicken with trains. <laughs> yeah, basically. And and they don't get out of so the way yeah, fast the main, enough. The, the biggest action sport, the X Games in India, are just dying to. What train. happens? What when you see it? What happens to their bodies? Do they just explode, or is it like very similar to Halo Three? They just go limp. Ragdoll. Really? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> you, usually I look away, I go ooh, and then. <laughs> So you don't know what I, I don't really get. I don't really like slow well, it down and see what's happening to their corpse. I've I seen just, a lot of people. You die. said you watch seen... it every day, so I thought you might know, kind of. Yes. Okay. I've seen another guy get run over by a train in Philadelphia. I've seen so many people get run over by trains. Yeah, I saw. I saw a guy in New York get pushed onto the tracks. Yeah. <gasps> Not you saw a life. murder. No. I, no. I X. think that's the one I thought yeah. was in Philadelphia. You saw a murder on X, yeah. Some guy steals the guy's lighter. So some guy's lighter. standing next to a, a... Oh, no, they were, like, arguing and fighting, and then one, one guy pushes, and then oh, train it's like comes a, It's like a manslaughter after. situation. Yeah, it's a... Yeah. Wow. A little bit more than a man... Like a... Yeah. Because, I mean... Well, well do you yeah, think he, he meant mean to, kill to kill him? He didn't mean yeah, to kill him. Yeah, it's manslaughter then. Yeah, yeah. yeah. An accidental murder. Holy yeah, fuck. Yeah, that, that was crazy. Yep. Wow. I just hope I don't die and it doesn't get posted on X. <laughs> <laughs> that suck. That's just wrong. What would you want done with your body? Also, additionally... If you died. Uh, ashes scattered in Hawaii? <laughs> <laughs> fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, oh come on! God. You should have you should That'd have your fucking so ashes scattered in the Santa Ana River. <laughs> That's so weird. No, it's not. I would want it to Dude, be mixed okay. in you don't have shit con- to do with Hawaii. Want mixed man. in with want, concrete. Yeah, no, I want my oh, ashes to be wherever um, into a giant pull-up bar. <laughs> Iz from Hawaii, the guy saying somewhere over the rainbow, whatever they did with that guy's body, I want to be there. Would that do? Dude, that guy probably has like a so fucking much a ashes, private tomb. Man. So many ashes. No, no. He's dude. got a tomb, dude, in, in Hawaii. Uh, well, do they have graveyards in Hawaii? Wouldn't really fit the vibe. <laughs> <laughs> Not very aloha-y. <laughs> oh, man. That's true. No, no. I, I, do they? Do, do they have a... They, there's they a, must have some. Yeah. I mean, Pearl Harbor is kind of like a... Not the Hawaii vibe, you know? It's like a memorial of like but it's necessary. mass death. <laughs> okay, here, here's a good one. Um, it's called Talking Donkey. In the book of Numbers, a prophet named Balaam is on the road when his donkey stops three times. Each time, Balaam beats the donkey in an effort to get it moving. Apparently, God has given the donkey the ability to speak, and it says... What have I done to you to make you beat me three times? That's all he said. I've seen something what, like this dude? on, on X.com where, where a kid's like punching a donkey and then the donkey oh, just bites the shit out of him. Why is why is this shit uh, why is the old school stuff always phrased phrased in fucking threes? Like three times. The donkey stopped three times, and on the third time the do- the donkey stopped and the donkey spoke. The donkey said, "What have I done f- for you to beat me three times? Like what? Why is it always like a three strikes like a you're setup out. Hey, like that? Three strikes you're out. Three strikes you're out. I guess there is maybe some like so we got holy geometry mathematics yeah, with the number three. The justice system. Maybe maybe the three is the number that you need to bet on. I do like three. That's three trippy. is like That's a because it is fool me once, shame on you." Fool me twice. And don't get fooled again. I'm not gonna get. I'm not gonna get fooled again. <laughs> Fool me three times. That's over the line. Get real, buddy. Can't get fooled three times. Yeah, it's impossible. It's impossible. There's It'd be something. A miracle. There's something about got- three. There's something about three. Like you get in a one car accident. Okay. You get in two car accidents. That's unlucky. Yeah, you get in three car accidents. Going on. You're the fucking problem. Three is where the buck stops. You know, you're not praying. If enough. you do something wrong three times and it's the same thing, that's like indicative of something else. Wow. You feel me? Yeah. Three DUIs. 
That's, Three DUIs you deserve to be on YouTube for yeah, my entertainment. Bad. Should we talk Anyways, about YouTube entertainment? I need to go pee real bad, and then we will, yes. Surviving, this episode's getting surviving mega chopped. El Chapo is a very good podcast about these uh, twins that worked for El Chapo. And they're like business savants because they worked at McDonald's. And mm. they like... They're like, well, we just, they just copied the McDonald's business model and used it for drug distribution. This is a drive through Basically. My- <laughs> no, My- but they did. No, because they, they basically said, like, you know, when you're at McDonald's and you drop a hamburger Would you like patty, American cheese with that? You don't that? give a shit. You fucking throw that shit away because you're McDonald's. You make so much money that you don't give a shit if you drop a burger. He's like, they have so many, like, warehouses and shit that if something gets raided, they don't act stupid. They're like, oh, we made fucking... Fifteen billion, fifteen million dollars this month. We don't give a shit if we lost two million dollars by a raid or whatever. So they just were uh, they they scaled everything up, and they were okay with cutting their losses. And I don't know, they just mm. were they had a very good business structure. Huh. Wow. That's so my recommendation for everyone to watch is Chem Before the Storm. Um, <laughs> This guy, I just, I got it recommended to me, and it's just fucking awesome, man. It's this guy who lives in RV parks, and he drives around to different RV parks. He has a membership with this company, and then things go sour with a security guard at one of these uh, uh, RV parks, and they try and get law enforcement involved, and it's this whole saga of him at war with these different either companies or uh, law enforcement branches. And he's, I think I find him most funny because in a lot of these interactions, he really cares about just being right, I think, you know, is his main thing. And he just really wants, like, the cops that are wrong to admit that they're wrong (laughs) and, and... and apologize and that's like his number one care is that like the cops just admit that they're wrong like there's this whole episode where he's like yeah I, I, honestly i'll never come back here i'll never cause another problem here as long as this guy <laughs> apologizes and says he's wrong <laughs> and uh it's a good it's a beautiful story it's a beautiful story and i recommend you guys it's, check it out we'll, we'll link it Love to interview him, maybe. Yeah, that would be sweet. He maybe probably, once his court he cases probably are will all tell done. anybody that will listen. Yeah, about how crooked these damn cops. He are. gets into a lot of silly scenarios, and we'll talk about it once everyone's watched all of it. It's not that much. We I should do it a challenge today. where we like this is a when I'm unemployed vibe, but we all have to like go out and like film cops and like see if we can get a viral video <laughs> of us being like sovereign citizens. Joe is um acting very differently abled right now, so I think we have to go. Just in the middle of the naughty Dude, things he said. I'm just and... trying to fucking do karaoke to be honest. Okay. okay. All right, we're gonna end this right we, now. I Love you guys. Thank you for watching. Karaoke. Buy our hoodies. I don't know if they're sold out. They might be. They're, um, they're sold out. They're not right. sold out. They've, so <laughs> feel free to look at the they're website. They're very, it's very likely that they're sold out right now. Whoa. Yeah.